the universe is immense and enigmatic. Its size has fascinated scientists and the curious for a long time. Although we don't know how big it is as a whole, we can measure the size of the universe that we can observe. It is about 93 billion light years across today. To better understand it, a light year is an astronomical measurement that is equal to about 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. So, in total, the observable universe is about 546.84 trillion trillion miles or 878.58 trillion trillion kilometers. It is an extremely large number and difficult to comprehend. The reason the universe is so big has to do with its origin. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe arose about 13.8 billion years ago in an explosion that caused it to expand rapidly. Since then, it continues to expand rapidly due to forces like dark energy, which is a mystery. As it expanded, matter was clumped together by gravity, forming stars, galaxies, and eventually planets like Earth. Over time, these structures became larger and more complex, creating the diversity of objects and phenomena we see in the universe today. The observable universe is only a small part of the entire universe, which encompasses everything that exists. The entire universe, with a capital U, includes all matter, energy, space, and time, while the observable universe refers to what we can see from Earth. This slice is limited in size, approximately 93 billion light years across. Since light travels slowly, what we observe in the observable universe are objects as they were in the past. Also, due to the expansion of the universe, distant objects are receding from us, making them more difficult to detect as their light is stretched and redshifted. The edge of the universe is a mystery with no definitive answer. Some theories suggest that the universe is infinite and lacks a discernible limit based on cosmic isotropy. Another theory proposes that the universe is finite but curves in on itself, without a defined edge. The idea of a multiverse is also raised where our universe would be part of a larger set of universes. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we discovered the cosmic web, a large-scale structure of galaxies, filaments, and voids. This network shows how matter is distributed and how galaxies evolve over time, originating from small fluctuations in the density of the early universe and amplified by gravity. As scientists have found filaments in the cosmic web of the early universe, these filaments were seen in quasars, which are bright galaxies with giant black holes. These quasars existed shortly after the Big Bang. An arrangement of ten galaxies connected by a bright thread-like quasar was found. These structures challenge what we know about the cosmic web, suggesting that these filaments existed at the very beginning of the universe. Furthermore, this finding gives clues about the impact of black holes on their environment at that time. The James Webb Telescope has made important discoveries in the early universe and in interstellar chemistry. He identified the first filaments in the cosmic web, showing how galaxies and star groups form. He also detected the essential molecule methyl cation in a disk around a young star in the Orion Nebula, where planets form. This molecule is key in the chemistry between stars and its finding confirms its role in the creation of complex carbon-based molecules. This also gives clues about how organic molecules are generated in disks around young stars, influenced by ultraviolet radiation. These achievements highlight the sensitivity of the James Webb Telescope for exploring mysteries of the universe and cosmic chemistry. The James Webb Telescope has shown that galaxies cleared the dark gas of the early universe, allowing light to travel unimpeded. This process, called reionization, was a pivotal moment in cosmic history. Using James Webb, astronomers found that around 900 million years after the Big Bang, existing galaxies ionized the surrounding gas, making it transparent. Bubbles of ionized gas around these galaxies grew and merged, gradually changing the universe to the transparent state we see today. These early galaxies also surprised us with active star formation and unexpected structures, 
challenging what we knew about galactic evolution. By studying these ancient galaxies, James Webb provided valuable insights into their properties, masses, and compositions, and how they interact with their surroundings. These findings highlight how James Webb is revealing new details of the ancient universe, allowing astronomers to better understand how galaxies form and change. The James Webb Space Telescope's JADES program investigates how galaxies evolved in the past. It has identified hundreds of ancient galaxies, some of the oldest known, helping to understand how the first stars and galaxies formed. JADES uses the infrared capability of James Webb to see distant objects whose light has shifted to red due to the expansion of the universe. He has found galaxies with very high red motions, demonstrating the effectiveness of the telescope in studying the early universe. Observed ancient galaxies are different from today's, small, dim, and young, with massive stars in formation that emit ultraviolet light that ionizes nearby gas. These galaxies are crucial to understanding the origin of the first stars, the reionization of the universe, and its transition from dark to transparent. Jades reveals complex and varied structures, showing stellar activity, supernova explosions, and mergers. It also measures the size of nearby galaxies, providing information about their growth over time. Thanks to its infrared sensitivity, Jades expands our understanding of the early universe and provides valuable data for future research. The James Webb Telescope studies galaxy formation by analyzing an initial group of seven galaxies in the early universe. These galaxies move rapidly within a zone of dark matter that is held together by gravity. Using its near-spec instrument, the James Webb measured these velocities to confirm the existence of this initial group. Furthermore, using spectral data, he modeled how this cluster would evolve over time predicting that it would become the coma cluster we see today. This shows how galaxies clumped together in the past and developed into current structures. It also highlights James Webb's ability to study distant galaxies in the infrared. The telescope also looks at how galaxies change over time. In early galaxies, he found chaotic structures that grew rapidly due to gravity and gas. In more mature galaxies, he revealed regular shapes that indicate continued growth. He also observed closer galaxies with diversity in their shapes but similarities to those in the nearby universe. These discoveries highlight the variety in galaxy formation at different times and how James Webb helps us understand their structure and complexity. The James Webb Telescope has provided valuable data on distant galaxies and the formation of molecules in space. For example, he discovered a carbon molecule called a methyl cation around a young star in the process of creating planets, shedding light on cosmic chemistry. The James Webb has improved our understanding of picking up subtle signals from distant sources, thanks to its high infrared sensitivity. His advances in the understanding of galaxies and cosmic chemistry are due to his unique ability to observe in the infrared revealing hidden aspects of the early universe. In addition, the telescope revealed details of the Pandora Cluster, a region 3.5 billion light-years away. It detected distant galaxies and gravitational lensing phenomena, showing their presence in images. He also explored the composition of the gas and dust in the cluster, providing information on temperature, density, and composition. He examined the diversity of galaxies in the cluster, showing features such as star formation and supernova explosions. These details help to better understand the evolution and interaction of the galaxies in the Pandora cluster.